and after a long hiatus your tutor is back and ready to roll. So for the next question in our series, let's help your sister. We have two charges plus, I think you meant plus and minus 10 microcoulombs. So there's a charge. So I'm going to denote these charges by point charge, by dots. So there's a charge of plus 10 microcoulombs and minus 10 microcoulombs placed at a distance 5 millimeters apart determine the electric field at A. So the first part. So this is what's given to us. So if we follow a set of procedures and questions, it'll always be helpful. We write down what's given to us and then now we identify what's being asked. And once we know what's being asked, we try to relate what's given to us to what's being asked. So determine the electric field at a point P on the axis of the dipole 15 centimeters away from its center on the side of the positive charge. So first of all, dipole is a combination of a positive and a negative charge of equal, of equal charge. So this is a dipole. So the axis of the dipole is the line that connects the two. So somewhere on this line, 15 centimeters away from its center. So the center of this line would be here at uh, 2.5 from each. And 15 centimeters to the, from the center on the side of the positive charge. So 15 centimeters from here, there is, we, we are expected to find the electric field here. What is the electric field? Right. At this point, P. They call this point P. So first of all, what is the formula for electric field? Electric field is K Q divided by R squared. Electric field, like electrostatic force, is a vector. This one's formula was Q1, Q2 over R squared. And what is, what is the property of a vector? It has a magnitude, that means it has a value, and it has a direction. So we need to find the value and the direction. So first of all, we need to find the electric field here. So there are two electric fields. Electric field, the effect due to this guy over here, and the effect due to this guy over here. So first of all, what is the effect of this guy over here? The effect of this guy, according to this formula, so I'm going to call that E1 due to the first charge, is K. What is the value of the charge? 10 microcoulombs over R squared. What is the distance from this charge to P? It's going to be... The whole distance from here to here is 15. This distance is 2.5 mm. So what is the distance from here to here? It's going to be 15 centimeters. You have to write it in meters. So it's 0.15 minus 5 mm. When you put it in meters, it's going to be 0 0.005 squared. This will give you the electric field due to the first charge at the point P. Okay. What is the electric field at this point, P? I hope that makes sense. Now, what is the direction of an electric field? If the charge we're talking about is positive, then we assume if the charge is positive, we assume the electric field is going out of the charge, out of the charge, out of the charge. So in this case, this electric field would be pushing this, would be going out this way. So it'd be, it would be acting like this on the, at the point, P. What about the electric field due to this guy at this point, P? The electric field due to that guy, E2, would be the same K. The charge would be 10 microcoulombs over, what's the distance now? This distance is 15. This is 2.5. So it's going to be 0.15 plus 0 0.0025 squared. OK, this is 0 0.05 divided by 2, right? Because it's half this distance. So this is electric field due to this charge at this point, P. Which way would that be? Because this is a negative charge, electric field would be to the right. So this, the electric field E2 would be this way. E1 would be this way. See that? 
So now you can find these two values and you subtract the two because they're vectors. Vectors have direction. E1 is to the left, E2 is to the right. From the numbers, I can see because this one's denominator is bigger, E2 will be smaller than E1. So the net electric field will be to the left. And what is the value? E1 minus E2. I hope that makes sense. So just to ret retrace our steps, we had to find the net electric field at the point P due to both the charges. So we use the formula for the value first. How do you find the value? Just plug in without any signs. Just plug in the values. K, the charge, the first charge divided by the distance between the first charge and the point P. And what is that distance? This, the distance from here to here, the center is 15 centimeters. So it's going to be 15 minus half the distance between the two charges. I hope all of that makes sense. You get E1, you get E2, and thus you can find the value at point P. So now, what about value at point Q? So now this part B is same setup, except the point now they're talking about, so now you have a 10 microcoulomb charge here, a minus 10 microcoulomb charge here. But now the point they're talking about is 15 centimeters away from O on a line passing through O and normal to the axis. So 15 centimeters away, normal. So it, I can either put it down. So this will be the line normal to the axis of the dipole. So 15 centimeters from here. So it's somewhere over here, 15 centimeters. You could do 15 centimeters down or up. Doesn't matter. You get the same answer. At this point, Q, what is the electric field? OK. OK, I'm approaching my 10, uh, 10 minute mark. So here, I'll stop right over here, and I'll make another video for the second part. Unless you want to try that now, based on the idea from the first part, and I could explain it further if needed. But what would the idea be here now? Now you have an electric field due to this guy on this, which is pulling it this way. This will be E1. You have an electric field due to this guy on this, which will be pushing this this way, which will be E2. Because they're vectors, if you want to add them up, they have to add the x components together and the y components together. Does that kind of make sense? I don't know if it does. If it doesn't, we can go over this in another video. Just drop a message. I've been quite busy running around with multiple projects. I'm sorry for such a delayed response, but it's the weekend. I should be able to record another project before I start running my ass around tomorrow. Much love, Molo. Take care. Bye-bye.